Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll be explaining how to unroute your HTC Thunderbolt after you use the revolutionary root tool. First thing you'll need is the HTC drivers. There'll be a link in the video description. You might already have these installed if you use this same computer to root your phone. Next thing you'll need to do is go to the link in the video description. It'll take you here, the Thunderbolt forums. Here under part one, you need to download this file. It's called tbolt.zip. Go ahead and download that. And when you have it downloaded, I have it right here. Right click on it, extract all. Extract. Okay. Here's the extracted folder. If you open that up, there's a folder in there named tbolt. Go ahead and copy that. And go to your computer, C drive. You're going to paste it on the root of your C drive right there. So if you open that up, you should have these files. Okay, then you need to do the following on your phone. Okay, you now want to plug your phone into your computer. Select disk drive mode. I'm done. Okay, now go back to your computer. Okay, with your phone in disk drive mode, go ahead and open up your SD card. What we're doing now is making sure there's no PG05 image files on your the root of your SD card. So here I have one. I'm going to have to get rid of that, so I'm going to delete that. These can either be radios or um, stock firmwares, so just delete it or rename it something other than PGO5 image. Alright, then go back to your phone. Okay, now on our phone you want to take it out of disk drive mode and change it only to charge only. Then you're going to hit Menu, Settings, Applications, Development, and you're going to check USB Debugging, that first option. Make sure it's checked. Okay, then go back to your computer. Alright, now that your phone's on charge only and in USB Debugging, we're going to launch command prompt so click start right here in the search bar type CMD or if you're on XP click run and then type CMD we're then gonna type CDC colon backslash tbolt alright now let's bring up that guide we're down here on part two it says always start with a full battery Okay, so here we did this first step. We're going to do this now. Check the MD5 sum of the bootloader we're going to write. Okay, so here's the sum you're looking for. It has to match exactly what's here in the guide. So go ahead and check that. Alright, mine matches, so I'm going to continue. We're running ADB devices. This is going to search for your device. Here's my phone serial number, and it says device here. If yours says offline here, just turn AD USB debugging off and then on again and try it again. I'm going to continue. Okay, this will boot our phone to the bootloader. So I'll show you what that looks like now. Alright, your phone should have rebooted to this screen. It says revolutionary at the top and fast boot USB. Just leave your phone in this menu for the next step. All right, now that our phone is in fast boot USB mode, we're going to proceed to this step. So copy that code, paste 
paste it in here. Okay, again, here's your serial number, and it should say fast boot here. If it doesn't say fast boot, you should not proceed. Okay, and if your serial number is right there, as it says here in the guide. So mine's okay, so I'm going to continue. Okay, it says okay. As it says here in the guide, it should say okay, then writing okay. So let me do this next step. This will rewrite the bootloader. Sending OK, writing OK. Alright, so it notes in the guide that if you do not see sending OK, then writing OK. So if you do not see this screen here, you should not turn off your phone. You should download an IRC client and seek help at pound thunderbolt on IRC and IRC.net. If it does flash correctly, use the volume rocker to select reboot and then proceed to the next step. So I'll show you how to do that on your phone right now. So our phone still looks like this. We're going to use the volume down rocker to go down to reboot. Hit the power button and our phone will reboot. Okay, I would just like to note my phone didn't reboot. It looks like it just turned off. So I'm just going to turn it on. No need to worry if that happens to you. Now that our phone has booted back up, we're going to continue on to part three, actually unrooting our phone and returning it to stock. So you need to follow this link here, which will take us to JCase's guide on unrooting. You're going to download two files. First one's here, MR1RUU. It's called PGO5 Image MR1 No H Boot. Go ahead and download that and download this file here, pgo5 image hboot. Let's name that. Okay, you're then going to plug your phone in and put it in disk drive mode. So let me do that. Go ahead and open up your SD card. We're going to take the pg05image mr1 no hboot file. We're going to copy it and paste it onto our SD card. Okay, when it's finished, we're going to rename it. We're just going to take off the MR1 no H boot. So it says PG05 image. Go ahead and right click it, properties, details tab, and look at the name here. It should say PG05 image.zip. Okay, that's the true name of it. Alright, then we're going to launch that T bolt file again. So click start, type CMD, enter cdc colon backslash tbolt okay then you're going to type adb reboot bootloader and then do the following on your phone okay your phone should look like this we're going to select bootloader with the power button because we're in fast boot usb mode Switching over to HBoot. Just leave that for a second and see it's loading the PG05 image file. Right now you can see the progress bar up here. If this screen just flashes and it doesn't load like mine is now, then you named the PG05 image, PG05 image file wrong. So go ahead and make sure you didn't add an extra .zip at the end. 
and I'll see you when that's finished when loading. When it's finished loading, you'll see this screen. It'll ask you, do you want to start update? Volume up for yes. And that'll take a few minutes. When it's finished, you should see this screen. It says update complete. They all say OK, except for number 8. It says bypassed. That's good. Hit power to reboot. When your phone boots back up, you'll have to go through the first initial setup of the phone. You then need to make sure that it flashed successfully. So I was running Gingerbread before. I'm just going to go make sure I'm back to Froyo, which I am, Android 2.2.1. And I can tell it flashed, everything's back to stock. Have all the bloatware again. Alright, so I can now proceed. So I'm going to put my phone into disk drive mode. Again, you have to be 100% sure that the stock firmware flashed successfully before you can continue. We then need to turn on USB debugging, so hit menu, settings, applications, development, check USB debugging, go ahead and allow it. Alright, so now that you are in disk drive mode and you have USB debugging on, let's go ahead and open our SD card. We're going to find the PG05 image file and delete it. We're then going to take the file that says PG05 image hboot 1.4.0000 that we just downloaded. You're going to copy that, paste it onto your SD card. We're then going to rename it just like the other one. Take off everything except for PG05 image. Okay, let's right click it, properties, details again. Look at the true name, it should look just like that. BG05IMG.ZIP. We're then going to go back to this command prompt, type ADB reboot bootloader again. And your phone will reboot to the bootloader. Your phone will look like this. We're going to select the bootloader option with the power button. We'll then check for the zip file. And it asks you, do you want to start update? I'm going to hit yes. That was fast. OK, it says update complete. Press power to reboot. Once your phone has booted back up, we're going to check and make sure it's completely unrooted now. So make sure your phone is still in USB debugging mode. And then we're going to type in the console ADB reboot bootloader one last time. Alright, so your phone should now look like this. It says S on at the top. So now we have security on status and we're running the stock firmware so we're completely unrooted. So to get out of this screen, go down to Reboot, select the power button. And that's it. You're completely unrooted now.